Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com for premium picks, DwyerVIP.com. Here with some thoughts about the rematch between Amir Khan and the man who was awarded the decision the first time, champion Lamont Peterson. Well, before I go further, just remember the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, my uh, pre-fight video from the first fight is up. In that video, I predicted that Amir Khan would beat Lamont Peterson. And quite frankly, the way I scored the fight, I thought he did. I thought Khan was the more active fighter. I thought Khan got off to the faster start. And I thought based in part on his start that Amir Khan accumulated more rounds than Lamont Peterson. But rematches are funny things because you actually get to look at the CompuBox numbers. Not only that, certain fighters are harder to fight the first time around than they are the second time around. <clears throat> right? The first time, you're going to have a very hard time dealing with a fighter's speed and figuring out the angles of his punches, right? The second time around, just like a good batter against a fastball throwing pitcher who has the same release point, the second time around, an opponent might well get in the ring and might actually know how to anticipate the speed, might be able to have made adjustments and to have cracked the code of their opponent. Now, can we agree that it is harder to hide your body than it is your head in the ring? In other words, with your head, you can bob and weave and tilt it to the side and do things to hide your head. But with your body, there it is. You're either a great defensive fighter like a Floyd Mayweather who can literally have body armor around his body, have an arm, elbow, etc. around his body, or you're going to be naked around your body if you're cornered up on the ropes. Now, in this matchup, it's striking that Lamont Peterson landed 119 body punches over 12 rounds the first time around, according to CompuBox. Just to put the 119 in perspective, Amir Khan, over the 12 rounds, only landed 45 body punches, right? My source is CompuBox. This is off an excellent website, BoxingScene.com. More disturbing for Khan is the fact that Lamont Peterson, when he first started fighting Khan, didn't quite fall into a rhythm for several rounds. So he came out and he was shooting a jab. First round, he shoots 24 jabs. Second round, 21 jabs. Third round, 17. Fourth, 22. Fifth, 23. Sixth, 21. But then something happened. He realized that he didn't have to shoot a jab to get inside. Right? The numbers literally changed dramatically after the sixth round. Right, right around the time when Lamont Peterson started asserting himself in the fight, Peterson discovered that he could literally get inside on Amir Khan's body and land 10 body punches, power punches, per round without throwing a lot of jabs. And Peterson is adaptive reactive. In other words, as he learns... He adjusts. So, in the seventh round, 
It might stun some people to learn that Peterson only throws eight jabs, right? After throwing no fewer than 17 in any of the first six rounds. Then we get to the eighth round. Peterson only throws four jabs. We get to the ninth round. Peterson only throws two jabs the entire three minutes. The tenth round, Peterson throws five jabs. The eleventh round, nine jabs. The twelfth round, only eleven jabs. Right? What's he doing? He's working Khan's body on a level that, quite frankly, was excessive and effective. What these numbers tell me is that even though I took Amir Khan in the first fight, I think Lamont Peterson wins the rematch. I think Lamont Peterson has found a way to get Khan, an ambush fighter, to back up to be up on the ropes, Khan cannot control distance. And after Khan, who has the faster hands, after Khan throws his initial flurries, Peterson, with this kind of really brutal body attack, 119 body punches over 12 rounds, that's a lot, folks. Um, with this kind of brutal body attack, I think Lamont Peterson will be able to come in tuck his head under Khan's chin and literally pick up where he left off, right? Amir Khan is going to have to find a way to get Lamont Peterson off of his ribcage. And let me just say, when you get hit with 119 body punches, you're barely surviving that fight. I don't care what Amir Khan looked like after the fight. The bottom line is he got busted up in the body and it's clear off these numbers a better than two to one advantage in body punches it's clear that there wasn't much he could do to stop peterson from getting inside and working his body for old timers let's put this another way if joe fraser has figured out how to get inside on you to work your body, right? And if it's taken him a few rounds in the first fight, but he's figured out how to get inside and work your body, and if the referee is not going to allow you to push down illegally on the back of Joe's neck, like which Ali did in the rematch, by the way, right? And if Joe Fraser is able to get inside and you can't keep him outside, aren't you going to have one hell of a hard time in that rematch. That's the situation here. Now let's talk about Amir Khan. Of his punches landed, he landed a whopping 193 to the head. And so I'm guessing Amir Khan is going to have to find a way to keep Peterson off of him. But the fact that Peterson wasn't even throwing jabs, really, after the seventh round, the most he throws in any round, is 11. Right? And he has rounds of 2, 4, and 5. The fact that Peterson wasn't even throwing jabs after the sixth round, while still landing a very healthy percentage of body punches. I mean, understand... Peterson's land connect percentages are above 50%, right, for power punches in round 7, 8, and 9. So Peterson's throwing away jabs and landing power punches at those ratios. I sense that Peterson is dominating the action inside and that Amir Khan has no answers on how to keep him off his rib cage, right? These numbers tell me that Peterson, who started slow last time, figured out what was going on and came up with the winning formula in the middle of the first fight. 
I think the second fight will give him more of an opportunity to pursue this winning formula. Just to put it in perspective, seventh round, he lands 51% of his power shots, predominantly body shots. Eighth, 53. Ninth, 54. Tenth, 33. Eleventh, 45. Twelfth, 46. He's not throwing jabs. He's throwing power punches. And he's incredibly effective percentage-wise in doing so. I think Peterson has cracked Amir Khan's code. I like him in the rematch, and I'm someone who picked Khan in the original fight. Let me hear from you. Tell us all what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.